Skip it up and that up. So I think even if you hate Subway, you know who Jared is. He's the guy who years ago lost a crap ton of weight um, having Subway for lunch and dinner. Subway found out about it and it in turn made him a millionaire. Well, Jared's fortune now has turned for the worst because he is being accused of having a bunch of child porn in his computers in his home. FBI agents raided Jared Fogel's home in Indiana amid this child porn investigation. Jared was detained outside of his house as a special task force removed computers and other electronics from his property and then took him to a forensics van parked in his driveway. Jared's wife and kids left just after 6.30 in the morning, that's when the raid began. He was not arrested right away. Now here's where things get weird and interesting. I'll explain why I say that later. This past April, Russell Taylor, who was the executive director of Fogel's or Jared Fogel's Jared Foundation, was arrested on child pornography charges. This was after investigators found more than 400 illicit videos in his house. And this just wasn't downloaded kiddie porn. This was videos that Taylor recorded all in his house, inside of his home or his former homes between 2012 and 2015. Now, Taylor attempted suicide in May. Ooh, boo hoo, poor baby. How dare we catch him making kitty porn in his home? The Jared Foundation, once they found this out about the guy, of course, cut ties with Taylor immediately, which, duh, I would do the same thing. My mind is blown on so many levels of this. First off, let me say I have zero love for pedophiles. I can't stand them. In my mind, personally, I think they're worse than murderers because once they molest a child, that child could be ruined for the rest of their lives. I've met people um, who were subject to child abuse and, and molestation when they were kids, and they're permanently damaged. It doesn't matter how much psychotherapy you get or how much help you get. It permanently does severe psychological damage to you, and it ruins people. It does. They, they suffer for the rest of their lives due to what these sick bastards do. Now, I'm going to go into some conspiracy theories with this because things just seem off here. Uh, first and foremost, I will say this. If Jared Fogel, uh, Jared the Subway guy, is truly guilty of having child porn and he was a participant in this and he was fully involved, throw the fucking book at him. I have no love for the guy. I never liked him or disliked him. I could give a shit about him. But yeah, if he is into pedophilia and all that shit, he needs to go away and someone needs to lock him in behind bars and throw away the key. But here are my two theories on this. And this is the first one. This one may be the more feasible one. Jared and this guy Taylor were in this together. They were running this kiddie porn ring, and that's why Jared is now being arrested because they needed to, investigators did what they needed to do, and they found out that Jared Fogel, the subway guy, was involved in this. Who the fuck would have ever thought him? Or it could be that this guy Taylor, he got called out, he got caught, and maybe he hired some people to do some kind of shady shit to Jared because he's doing this as a revenge thing. Because here's the thing, okay, about anything to do with pedophilia or child pornography, even if you're found innocent just because you were tied to that, doesn't matter. You instantly have that stigma and it ruins you. So this guy, Taylor, who almost offed himself because he was so devastated what happened, he may be seeking revenge and did some shit to get back at Jared. And he knows that even if Jared is cleared of all this, which I'm not saying he's going to be, I'm just saying if this is the case and my conspiracy theory is true, he knows it's going to ruin him anyway. Okay, here's it. Let me ask you something from a parent for the parents out there who watch because I know there is parents that watch my videos. If you found out and you needed a babysitter and you found out that there's there, you have these two different people, one of them clean record, the other one, they were exonerated of their accusations, but you found out they were accused of doing something with a kid, okay, doing, you know, God forbid, molesting a child, so on and so forth. But you found out also that it probably was just someone being spiteful to ruin their name. Out of those two people, who would you hire? You would hire the person with a clean record, even though the other person may be totally innocent. And this guy, Taylor, may know that, saying, hey, look, even if he gets cleared of all these charges, I'm going to fuck him over anyway, because he's going to be known as Jared, the guy who possibly had kitty porn on his computers. I'm telling you, man, psychological warfare is a motherfucker. Now, I have a message to all the sick pedophilia fuckers behind there who feel empowered because they're hiding behind their anonymous PCs. They will find you. 
the cops will find you just because you think you have your VPNs up and all that other shit and you have a, you know, a child porn ring and you get off for whatever sick reason to young kids. You're not all empowered. You are not a God behind your keyboard and people, the investigators, the cops, people will find you and you deserve to be found because you're miserable, disgusting pieces of shit. I'm gl- if Jared was truly part of this and this wasn't some kind of slander campaign, I hope they lock him behind bars and throw away the key because he is a horrible, horrible human being. This is Rich Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one.